Manaloking resident Joyce Popaka never imagined she'd be happy doing dishes in her kitchen. But today, she is. That's because nearly 120 days since the storm, the Popacas can finally spend the night in their home. It's, uh, it's terrific. We're really happy to be home. It's fantastic. But it's also bittersweet because there are so many of our friends that will not be able to move into their houses. This is the reality Manaloking residents are faced with today. Officials say all 521 homes in this town were damaged by Superstorm Sandy and 60 homes were completely washed away. Manaloking's police chief doesn't expect a significant amount of residents to move back home right away. If you take into consideration all the factors involved, damaged houses, um, you know, the amount of people we have uh, available to come back in, uh, the amount of homes that are in condition to come back in, we're probably talking a dozen people within the next couple of weeks. A curfew is still in effect and side streets are restricted to residents and contractors. It's very lonesome. There's no one here. There are many of us that go up and down the lane and talk and chat and wave and no one is here now. Vacant lots are all that remain where homes once stood. A kitchen sits exposed to traffic on Route 35. Beach chairs still hang in dilapidated garages. A basketball hoop remains intact around the rubble. All glimpses of what life was like before Sandy turned Manaloking upside down. Officials say that's why today is so important. It's a return to normalcy. Summer is the yacht club, the kids running around, uh, everybody having a good time. Um, and that's what we want. That's what we want to get back to. That's why we've fought so hard and there's so many entities out here that have been helping us get to this point today. Every time we come down, um, we just we get a new sense of how, how devastating it is. But we know that Manaloking will be back. Everyone will be back. Homeowner Suzanne Githens didn't lose her house during Sandy. It was destroyed by Tropical Storm Irene. And when Sandy came along, we had just demolished the house and we started. Today marks a new beginning for Suzanne and her family. As for Joyce Popaka, she feels as though life has started again. It's, it's important to get back in the, the rhythm of living here. It's a rhythm, Popaka says, is important not just for her own family, but for this entire community, a community that stands united to come back stronger. In Manaloking, I'm Lauren Wonko for NJ Today.